All right, this is the uh, True Form armature for a life-size bust, and uh, it comes on the base. You can change the angle of the uh, to upper torso if you want to. Uh, you can carve away this part here and make it part of the figure, uh, or you can uh, incorporate this as a base for it with maybe a little sculptural stuff on that, uh, maybe relief or something. Uh, you can change the, the head uh, positioning. You can take the head off and uh, put it back onto the armature. Um, you can literally uh, drill holes in and get uh, your own wire or copper tubing like I use and make armatures for the arms if you want and shoulders. This is really nice. It's uh, 26 inches tall. Um, the head length is on an 8 inch, inch head length and it's actually made a little bit smaller than the skull would be so that you can uh, bring it up to uh, the size that you want or you know that you can put the clay on. Uh, you don't want the, this popping through the sculpture so they make the head just a little bit smaller to subtract for the clay that's going to go on the uh, form. They got the upper uh, ribs from the, of the rib cage uh, here so you you got a place for the contact uh, for your collarbone and all that stuff. The back of it uh, is uh, got a groove down the middle of it. You can actually uh, bend it backwards if you want to. Uh, it's really kind of nice. I, I like this. And it's all out of foam. So all this can be carved and, and, and uh, repositioned. You can glue this onto a, a base a more permanent base that you can sculpt on so that this won't uh, wobble around. Um, this is for a special project that I can't uh, talk about right now. I'll announce it later on uh, when it becomes uh, a little more clear what's going to happen. Uh, but I'm going to set this aside for now. I just wanted to get this in my possession so I, I can see what it looks like and, uh, and get ready to, to work with this really interesting. This is for a project that I probably won't be working on YouTube with and uh, I'll, I'll fill you in. You'll be able to see it uh, being worked on but uh, there's going to be a different uh, situation uh, for being able to see it. So just wanted to let you know what uh, Payne Laura at uh, true form told me was that you can use wood rafts to shape. Uh, you can cut, uh, all this is foam, so you can cut the uh, base down a little bit if you want. Uh, you can uh, work on the uh, the skull a little bit if you want. If, you, if the cheekbones uh, are not, this is for a Caucasian or European uh, style face. If you want to uh, make it for a uh, Mongolian or a Chinese person or a or a uh, Indian, a Native American. Uh, you can uh, uh, take down the cheekbones and do your own because uh, the height of the cheekbones change with uh, different uh, uh, characteristics of different people. And uh, but that's just as a guide for you. This is this has actually been worked out uh, anatomically correct uh, for artists and a lot of. Uh, Big name artists are using these uh, true form armatures now. All right, I'm going to get uh, out of here right now. I can't work on the clay today. Uh, I will work on it tomorrow. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what I had here before I head out. Uh, doing some uh, running around today and errands. And uh, it's just going to take all day. And I just have no time for sculpting today. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is a cool, cool bust. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's going to be fun to figure out what it is I'm going to do. All right. Have a great uh, day. I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm going to get out of here and get my business done. <laughs>